So it's the tip, Chisholm versus Hawkinson. And we are underway. And straight to the basket for two. Yoshi straight to the hoop. They've got to play the three points up. They're just over 30%. Ali Yu, but Hawkinson comes away 6 10 handling the ball. Here comes Japan. Three pointer up and off. 17 of 37 they made against Iran. Inside Hawkinson, he gives them another dimension now. Smart play on the drop off pass. Pick and rock. Nice look, but there was too much on that pass. And there's the little push shot from Josh Hawkinson. Shots up, just long. Hawkinson, another rebound. He's heavily involved early. He's going to be a match-up problem for Bahrain. Two shots coming. Job early by Japan and Hawkinson there. And a foul. Whistle call. finish nice move by Devon Chisholm 15 points in the loss versus Australia shots up and at the moment Japan once a far away from beyond the three-point range they haven't hit one yet they've been relying on Hawkinson inside and Chisholm misses everything spin and balls loose here comes Bahrain Chisholm handoff shots up and off and there's the move inside from Chisholm And shots up for three. Hawkinson knocking it down. Well, he's got seven points. Inside, Chisholm and... Nice play from Chisholm's. <laughs> He's at the free throw line and knocks it down just to keep Bahrain in contact. Japan 
and attack. Foul. Makoti Hajima, three points in the win over Iran. 96-61. Just a huge statement win for Japan to start this window off. They would want to be looking at themselves in this group and say, well, we would have qualified from the group regardless of being hosts. They need the momentum going into the to the finals. Ahmed Amuda in. And Ali Hassan out for Bahrain. Amuda five points, two rebounds on Thursday. Threes up and long. And they will keep firing away Japan. Pick and roll. Nice passing and Chisholm is a problem. He is a problem. For Japan. Chisholm misses. Chisholm played at College of Tennessee. Extra pass, shots from the corner, and now Japan connect from outside. And two of six from behind the arc. 37 three-pointers taken in the game versus Iran. Hawkinson, solid start by him. And attempted pass, Chisholm just getting himself in the way. Defense just opened up like the Red Sea there. And Japan pushing ahead. Three pointers short. Japan 15 7 early. And the attack and the block from Chisholm not in this house. And another three. Look out, Japan are coming, and it's Hawkinson, all court player. Timeout, Bahrain. It's starting to drizzle freeze with Japan. Coach Rassam. Mozugi having to call timeout.
Josh Hawkinson, 10 points. Three of three from the field. Two of two from three, one of one from two, two of two from the line. He's got a perfect game so far. Three rebounds, two assists also. <coughs> Great inclusion and problems getting the ball inbounded as well for Bahrain, straight out of the timeout. And the crowd loving. The crowd loving the intensity. as Mustafa Rashid steps out of bounds. Shots up, and Chisholm with a big rebound. Good defense from Japan. In transition, just long with the three. They will keep going. Super defense. Yoshi with the steal and the attempted layup. No good. Coach technical foul there, just... And Hawkinson looking really sharp. spent all his club time in Japan, currently with the Shinsu Brave Warriors, college at Washington State, 2013, 2017, 27 years old now. So good inclusion for Japan and gives them real size and a, and a stretch, stretch five as well. Penetrate, pass, and finish. That's just perfect execution. Hawkinson waiting on the baseline. Defense helps off him. He finishes. Nice touch for the big fella. Oh, great pass. Defense, ball watching just for a split second. Nice job. By Hamuda. Hawkinson. Shots up and just long. Hand in the face there. Could have been an extra pass. But I think once these Japanese shooters are set, it's going up. A nice job from Bahrain. Nice spin dribble from Mustafa Rashid. Stafford Russia, first trip to the free throw line, two points, two rebounds, two turnovers so far. And just missing the free throw, a good hustle by Kadim for Bahrain. Mahmouda 
drops it off and shots good. Ali, Jabba, Kadem. Bahrain hanging around. They cannot qualify for the FIBA Basketball World Cup, but great crossover, drop off, blocked by Chisholm, and he keeps possession. Not strong enough move from Kawamata. Pull up, Jay is just off, and it will stay with Bahrain. As Koya, Kawamati, Kawamata, uh, the ball comes off him last. Watch this block, got to go up stronger than that when Wayne's in the house. Chisholm, three rebounds, two blocks, being an enforcer for Bahrain, and they need it. Wilkinson taking a rest, so maybe they, you know, good pass. Freeze up, and good. Ahmed Hadji, Bahrain, good spacing, good confidence with the three-point shot. Hadji, 100% from behind the arc, one of one. And fortunately enough for Japan, they keep possession. Koya, Koyamati, Koyamata just spun baseline there, that's a nice pass. And the additional pass back outside. And Yuki Karamura couldn't get out to the ball. Deep three is good. Nothing but net for Yutaro Suda. Japan 4 of 11 at the moment. It was going to be difficult to... to follow up. It's nearly 43 pointers they took versus Iran. That's just extraordinary. 10 a quarter, but the way they play, up-tempo. Filling the spots from behind the arc. And when they're on, they are a handful. They lead by eight. A complete handful for any team. So at the line. Natum Issa. Six points, five rebounds, five assists in the 83-51 loss to Australia. So they've had a really tough window, Bahrain. Played in Australia and then coming over to Japan. That's, uh, that's a tough road trip for, by anyone's levels. And the left hand finish, lot going on. Nice job. Offensive rebound there by Kawamata. Pull up, Jay, is long. Three pointer is up. Nothing but net. Corner pocket just drained it. Suda with the three, the latest three. Six points for him. Two or three from behind the arc. Chisholm attacks and fouled. Good protection of the ball. And Koya. Koya Mata. But look at the pass along the sideline. Catch square up. The pass was perfect, right in the shooting pocket. Takes two to tango with quick fire shooting like this. The pass has got to be perfect. And as for Chisholm, he can get some success with Hawkinson off the floor. He can start to dominate inside and a little bit of Shoulder to shoulder there, Chisholm, seven points. Three of three from two. 
15 points, 11 rebounds, double-double for him against Australia. But he's got a problem with his free throws at the moment. It was 100% against Australia. Four of four shots up and good. And uh, another three in transition. They sprint so hard to their spots, to the corners. He's up, Suda's up to nine points. 32-18, the lead explodes with a flurry of threes from Japan. Three-pointer up, short for Bahrain. They save it, though. And ball's out of bounds. And foul called. Look at that pass. Perfect fast break transition to the left, to the right. The furthest corner on the right. And the defense can't get to that. So, Ali, Jabba Hassan, Jazim Karim. The free throw line, he's up to three points. Shots off, and ball's loose, and good play by Bahrain and Hadji. He's up inside Chisholm, and he can't get it to go. Watanabe doing just enough. Last couple of seconds, and into the left-hand corner. The Suda couldn't pick it up and shoot it. So 1.9 seconds for Bahrain to get something going. And let's Japan get it. Deep three, and just short. Bahrain couldn't get the shot they wanted Japan, and he got what they wanted. End of the first, Japan 30. Some of the highlights from the first quarter. And our 6 of 15. So they're on course for another. They carry on at this rate. They'd be taking about 43 pointers in this game. They've taken 15 already. And they're 40%, and that's why they're so dangerous and devastating. And that was nice play. And they're smart enough, these players, you take away the three, they will attack the basket. And they've got the likes of Josh Hawkinson when he's on the floor to finish off around the basket as well. But Bahrain has some good moments. It's a three of their own. But that is the only three they've taken, they're one of five. But look at this. Slight fumble, but he got to his spot quick enough. Utero Suda to knock down the three. Download the app called Side 1891. It's the app for everything you need. Stream schedules, scores, exclusive live games of every FIBA international competition. And of course, it's the road to Philippines, Japan, and Indonesia for the FIBA Basket World Cup 2023. It will be one heck of a basketball party. Comes Japan, just get one shot, shot into the corner, good.
close out on that occasion. And the three's up, Chisholm with the rebound. A nice pass inside. Kadem with the layup. Nice assist. Got him up to five points. Into the corner. A oh, nice crossover and the finish. Hamuda completely crossed over by Yoshi. And the packed house here. At the Takasaki Arena. Love that. Four points for Yoshi. Hand off Chisholm. Jump shot for Bahrain. And a steal. Here comes Bahrain for the layup. Mustafa Rashid. Thirty four twenty five Japan lead. Hawkinson on the outside. Offering a screen, then posting up and going to the hoop. Three's up. Off the glass. The bank is open at the Takasaki Arena. Shots up is good. Big three pointer from Hamuda. Whoa. Being inspired by seeing what Japan have been doing from behind the arc. Toes. And quick attack, penetrate, kick. Three's up. And three is good. Sochiro Inui. Yoshi with the assist there, balls loose. Hamuda. The attack and... It's just a nice throw down. For Hirotaka Yoshi. The Takasaki Arena. So shots incoming for Ali Kadam. And Josh's second foul. One of three from the line for Ali Kadam. Short and rebound by Inwai. Substitution for Japan, number 16, Red Kanachika. And Ren comes in. Eighteen years old. Look out, Hawkinson open floor with the throwdown. He has looked sharp from minute one today, and coach. Tom Havasi liking that uh, Japanese basketball icon coaching the team, standing at six foot eight, standing proudly there as his team lead here against Bahrain. Turnaround, no good. Chisholm trying to get the rebound and ball knocked away. And here comes Hawkinson. Again, dangerous pass. Going back towards 
the cross court towards Chiz and Hawkinson just getting in the passing lane and finishing with a dunk to get the crowd off their feet here at the Takasaki Arena. The whistle. Misses. Gonna try kick shots up and just short. Hawkinson with another rebound. Up behind his back, lifts, catches, and just off. Made his international debut with six or ten threes against Iran on Thursday. At the first game of this window. This is the final game of the FIBA Basketball World Cup qualification. The tournament starts on 25th of August. Shots up off one leg. Ball's loose, and here comes Kai Tews. Then a cheek uh, just off, but he's you know he's in rhythm, feet set. Pressure up the floor from Japan. <coughs> Only one foul so far for Japan, just two for Bahrain. Clean game so far. Fake handoff for Chisholm, second handoff. Rashid, cross court, inside Chisholm, deep position, and it's a problem without Hawkinson on the floor to deal with Chisholm. He's a wide body and he's got a lot of guile. In and around the hoop. So Chiedo in you with the foul. Devin Dwayne Chisholm, two shots. Second. Two of six from the line to the long range shot is good. Wow. Suda is on fire for sure. As the man on the mic tells us all, fantastic shot. They are relentless from behind the arc. And 45-29 tells the story here in Tagasaki. Timeout, Bahrain. Right. Okay. Hey. 
Japan, nine of 20 from three. I mean, that's outstanding again. I share the ball so well. 13 assists and 4.05 remaining in the second. So if they keep going at this rate, they're on for about 30 assists as well. It's a numbers game and it's, uh, it's a real treat to watch. Japan in full flow. Not maybe not so much for Bahrain and their coaching staff and players. But they've got to do something. Chisholm getting into Chisholm is an interesting matchup against Hawkinson, and that's against Hawkinson, that's what he's maybe gonna settle for a bit more. Penetrate, kick off. Sochira so Inyi. Just missing that one. But again, a good look. Defense on the back cut. By Suda and balls out. Good job by Hawkinson, right with Chisholm as he turned round. And coach. That's him. Marzugi. It's tough. Japan have had a, a home and home window here. This makes such a difference, and Bahrain have been on the road to Australia and now here in Japan. It's uh, Shots up and off, a long way off. For Inyi. And a good attack, left handed downhill. Rashid. Mustafa Rashid with the layup and off the glass, falling out of bounds. Nijima. Great athletic move. Ball's loose. Oh, and Hawkinson. Wow. Gets it, Azam. Suba, Azam. Commits the foul. Really nice attack. Right. Rush it. Forty-seven, thirty-one. Japan in complete control here. Nice crossover for Yuki Togashi. Shot 
Togashi's first free throw of this particular qualification window. No free throws against Iran. Six points, four assists, one rebound in 14 minutes. So he'll be ready, ready and raring to go in this game. This is the first, and Chisholm brings it away. Muda. Now they all the way. No reaction and rotation on that play. Nice layup for Rashid again. Aliyu. And yes, put it over the top. Nice play for Hugh Watanabe. Deep three, Chisholm, again, he beats Hawkinson, but Hawkinson does enough to stop the putback. Oh, my, what a pass! What an army with the pass from Tagashi. That is worth seeing again, and applauded by Suda. Here it comes, bounce pass, two-footed takeoff. Right above the rim, simple play. Haji to Hamuda. Rashid, good defense here. And stepping out of bounds. Good chasing and closing out, closing down by the Japanese defense there. A swarm of red on the floor, and there's a swarm of red in the stands with the red national team t shirts being worn by the adoring fans here. It's just sensational atmosphere and arena. Shots up from the corner and it's off. Ball's loose, still loose. And left-handed layup for Ali Rashid. He's having a good, he's having a solid run of play here. Four points for Rashid. 51-35, last 10 seconds and counting down towards the end of the second quarter. Pull-up jump shot from the elbow is off. One second and three-quarter heave. Just short for Bahrain. For Mustafa Rashid with a long-distance effort. So, we're at half-time here. It's Japan 51, Bahrain 35. They will continue their battles now as Japan have first possession. If you're just joining us, Japan in red, Bahrain in white, Japan with the first possession. Inside to Hawkinson, handoff to Karamura, shots up and good for three is Yutaro Suda. And they're off and running, Japan, extending the lead to 19 early in the third. FIBA Basketball World Cup qualification. Whoa! Mustafa Rashid. He's had a strong first half and he's continuing. What a three. That's as deep as anything Japan have put up. Shots up. And wow. Both teams firing. I don't know what they had to drink or eat at half time, but both teams have come out from behind the arc and they are connecting. Yoshi up to 10 points, two of three from behind the arc. And now that, that does not look good for Wayne Chisholm. As he hobbles off 
Look how deep this is. Steps into it. Defense comes out late. Sit down and whistle. Motion. Cut him. Good defense, moving the feet. Ball hasn't been out to be reversed. They're going to have to put something up from the corner, and it misses everything. Really good defense from Japan, smothering the Bahrain offense. Pass along the baseline in shot is off by Inyi. Nice pass and simple reverse layup for Mohamed Hamouda. Luder up to seven points, three or five from the field. Shots up for three is long. And the attack, no foul called. Really strong play from Ali Kadam. It's just the only issue for Japan if they're going to continue to fire away from three is if they're not connecting. And then the penetration bounce past Hawkinson gathers that, that in. Kawamura brings it back out for Japan. Time running down, and well, that quietened me down straight away. Nice connection off the dribble for Kawamura. He's up to three points. One of four from behind the arc. Bahrain attempts their own three with Rashid and don't connect. He did look to be in a lot of discomfort coming out. But he's so important to their interior play. He's back in. Let's hope he can get through this game unscathed. And up and under and out. Pulls loose. And Bahrain have another 14 seconds. On the shot clock, Hamuda with the screen. And good defense from Japan. Penetrate, kick, shots up, oh, and that is glorious. What a push ahead from Yuki Karamaru. And the shot up from Sotira Inyi. And Suda with the three pointer. Yatoro Suda, two-point jump shot made. 20-point lead for Japan. Right at the buzzer, Hamuda keeps it alive. But Karamura in transition. And Hawkinson, great body control. Moves so well. For a big 17 points, six of eight from the field. And Chisholm inside, left hand finish. Seems to be moving okay. Straight down the other end. Here, attacker Yoshi. Just looking back at that three from Rashid. And then Suda just checking the, the line. 
was given as a two, but it's still an impressive shot in transition. Taka Yoshi. One of one from the line, 11 points, three assists and one rebound so far. In and out on the free throw, Chisholm with the rebound. He's heading for another double-double for Bahrain, Chisholm, 10 points, eight rebounds so far. Penetrate, kick. And nice finish, really strong finish from Chisholm. And smart pass from Mata Misa. 12 points for Chisholm, 5 of 11 from the field. Balls loose, recovered. Karamura, Karamura. Crossover, three-pointer is long. Rashid inside. And they're just recognising if Chisholm is running to the front of the Japanese hoop, they will just throw him it because oh, they know he's got an advantage. Nice push, floated pass in. And the two for Chisholm there. Kawamura with his third, third foul. Rashid. Jump shot is good. He is feeling it. 12 points, two of six from the three, but he's made his two threes in this quarter. One from way downtown. Step gets separation from the defense. Really good play. Yoshi out, third foul. In the teenage sensation, Kenachika. Six of ten from behind the art versus Iran. Game one of this qualification window on Thursday. Ashid, he's going to pull up again, and he's just short. Same spot that he made the last one. Japan just slowing it down slightly in the half court. Nice, no look. And Hawkinson, beautiful pass. Great spacing around the outside gives Hawkinson plenty of room on the interior. Gets basket side of Meiti Misa. And Hawkinson said nothing but net. He's had a near perfect game. Four of four from the line. 30 efficiency so far. 20 points, seven rebounds, three assists. Inside, Chisholm against Hawkinson. This behind the back. What an assist on a plate for Mohamed Amuda to finish. But that is picture perfect from Devon Chisholm. But straight back at you, Japan. Yutaro Suda. Good defense from Japan. Forcing Rashid to have to hang in the air. Now watch this delicious dish from Devon. The hat is great. Mamuda, a grateful recipient. Loose, good day again, active hands, but they just can't quite keep it in play. 
Good intention from Japan there, pushing the ball ahead hard. It's only their fifth turnover, they do take care of the ball. Co coach Tom Havasi all smiles at the moment. Uh, coach's challenge, which is the new FIBA rule that's come in. In relation, if it was saved on that, and I would say his foot was in bounds when he took off and his foot's on the line before he lets it go. He wasn't able to save it before that foot came down again. I would suggest, let's see, he's stretching. Kai toes. Yeah, his foot's back down again. Coach. Azugri. He's pointing at the line. It was happening right in front of him. Japan have no coaches' challenges left. And Bahrain have one. New rules brought in for this season. I think it, it's another good addition to the basketball experience for FIBA competitions. Shots up in the corner, just short for Hamuda. Here comes Japan, 20-point lead. Hawkinson inside against Hamuda now, he gets it. Nice handoff, penetrate kick, another penetrate, bounce pass. And the drop over the top was great finish by Hugh Watanabe. He thought for a moment about throwing it down, but dropped it over the top. Feet set and good for three. Ali Rush, Mustafa Rashid playing well. <coughs> Especially in this, well, that's Ali Rashid. He's up to seven points. Great pass out. Three is off. Hawkinson gets the rebound. Can't get the, the push shot or the put back in. Under two minutes. And three's up. And later, Misa. Nice job by Bahrain, just keeping in touch. 73-57, Japan will not want to sleep on this. And a little bit too much one-on-one, -on -one. and here comes Bahrain again. Shots up, off Watanabe with the rebound. Spin dribble. Inside, and... Watanabe couldn't keep hold of it. Nice bounce pass, though. Moving without the ball. For Watanabe. Time out, Japan. Let's just move a little bit. Or, 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 honey, 
So we're back underway on the back of the timeout. Coach Javassi just saying, let's move the ball. Let's keep sharing it. Bahrain first. First some defense for Japan to deal with. Mansam Issa into the corner. Shots up and just short. Good look, though, for Kadem. Shots up in transition is long for Hawkinson. Balls loose. And Ali Kadam with the rebound. 16 point lead for Japan. Attempted bounce pass into Chisholm is kicked away. Okay, Kai Tolls. Time out, Bahrain. 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 14 seconds remaining in. Welcome back. Ten seconds remaining in the third quarter after the timeout from Bahrain. Screen from Hamuda. Now they're going to be running out of time here. Hamuda's just going to have to throw it up. He's not. He needed to shoot that from outside the three-point area. So not quite what Bahrain wanted, especially after the timeout. End of the third quarter, Japan 73, Bahrain 57. Pretty nifty behind the back. Catch and shoot. For Yutaro Suda. 
the dribble out and drains the three. So into the fourth quarter we go. Course at 1891, scan the QR code. It's the app that has everything you need for FIBA Basketball World Cup qualifiers around the world. Stream schedules, results, all in one place. Watch on all your devices, all stream to your cast to your smart modern TVs. You can watch it. Watch your basketball on the big screen as well. Japan in red, Bahrain in white. If you're just joining us, Bahrain with the first possession of the fourth. They're 16 points down. They're not out of this. They need a fast start and they need to close down the Japan three-point threat. Chisholm turns, steps through, and Hawkinson does enough. Good day for Hawkinson. Two metres eight, Hawkinson. Just got a bit of, a bit of size advantage and a little bit of misdirection. That was clever. He's really smart player as well. It works perfectly in this Japanese system. Penetrate, kick. Another penetration coming. Push shot is good. Really nice play from Bahrain. And Ali Kadam with the finish. Hawkinson, hands off, screens, stays outside. And attempted Yuki Tagasha pass to the corner is deflected. Just a little pause, gets the defence out of position and the dive to the basket from Hawkinson. Wide open three is good for Tagashi. They're devastating. Perfect read and react. Take away the inside plate. We'll pull up for three. Nice step through and the reverse layup for Matamisa. Nine points for Issa, three of five from the field. Hawkinson attacks the closeout. Penetrates to the kick from where the help came and a wide open three is the result. Hawkinson with the assist, Tagashi with back-to-back -back threes. And another reverse, really nice play from Matamisa. Or oh, MJ, as he's got on his back. And he looked a little bit like MJ. With that reverse layup and that three short and over the stanchion and Bahrain ball. Fifteen of thirty-six Japan tonight, so they're just two away. On Thursday night's mark, they got made 15 threes last time they played Bahrain, 17 against Iran on Thursday in the previous game in this window, which was a record for them. Nice spin up and under and can't quite get it. Chisholm is playing so tough against Hawkinson. That is a super matchup between those two. Former Tennessee College and Washington State with Chisholm. And end up getting worn down by Japan in their defense. But he is a tough competitor. And there's the step through reverse from Meitamisa. Crossover. Muda, pass. 
Back to shots up and off for Hamuda. And Yoshida with a miss. Excuse me, Karamura with the miss. Hawkinson with the rebound, push ahead to Tagashi. Hawkinson at the top, hand off screen, into the corner, inside, but good deflection by Chisholm. Tended pass for Hawkinson, didn't make it. And Yuki Togashi with the foul. Off for Ali Kadam, the penetrating kick. Yoshi looking for options back outside. Inside and nice finish. Hit attacker. Yoshi. Murray with the assist. And a whistle call made to me, sir. Made to me, sir. Had the ball. Foul called. Throw line jump shot is in and out. Ball's loose. Hawkinson has it. Chisholm chases. Away come Japan. Reverse layup. That sensational play by Yuki Katamura. Going downhill at pace. Five points, eight assists for Katamura. Chisholm screens, shots up, and good, 4-3. Mustafa Rashid, he is feeling it. Up to 15 points, three of nine from behind the arc. Made all three in these, this corner, not in this house. Massive block from Chisholm. And... Reciprocated by Japan. Look at the block here from Chisholm. You've got to go stronger than that. Here comes Devon. Devon destruction on that block. And the referees consulting.
Again, Chisholm and Hawkinson can't be separated. Great match up there. And that's why you use the challenge in Chisholm with a wry smile. No coach's challenge is left. 3.58 remaining in the fourth Japan possession. Good job by the officials. Shots up. And an air ball, first one today. And, uh, well, they just keep firing away. Suda with a rare misjudged three-point attempt. Inside Chisholm, outside. Shots up from the corner is miss, but Chisholm gets his miss and puts it in. He is having a massive game on the boards. He's got his double-double, 14 points, 12 rebounds, two assists. And nice play by Japan. Clearing out, using the screen. And Kodomara with the two-point driving layup, but it was set up by the screen as well. Chisholm, jump shot is short. And rebound Japan. Left hand finish this time on the high speed layup. All smiles, and the crowd love that. Great effort. Look at the hustle and the save and the push. That was the reverse layout, but all started by Hawkinson's hustle to keep it alive. And then that was the left hand, and he's ended up Matamisa. But look at, now that's the sportsmanship that FIBA basketball is all about. You play tough and you respect your opponents and their safety. <laughs> Looks like the referees are going to review this play. Is it unsportsmanlike? Well, It's a hard slap into the face of Yuki Koromora. He's going for the ball, but he's missed, and it's got right down the face. Koromora, and again, for you kids watching, left hand finish means that. Matamisa can't get to the ball. If it was a right hand finish, he may have been able to strip that. And here's the result coming. They're just double checking again. Just need to confirm, I guess. Just confirming which player. Well, they, they must know that it's. Matanisa. Seven. Yeah. I, I think that's a I think that's a good call. And Isa knows Ras, Rashid. That's some good moments though offensively though, Issa. 11 points, four of eight from the field. Three assists. It's been spirited play by Bahrain, who've had a really tough window. Just with traveling, Australia. And then... They're in Melbourne playing on Thursday leaving Melbourne to come to Japan. It looks as though they're going to fall short, but 
They must continue to strive. They won't make this far FIBA Basketball World Cup. And they look forward to the next round of Asia Cup qualifiers beyond this. 2.40 remaining for Japan and Bahrain in their FIBA Basketball World Cup qualification campaign. Three-point along, balls loose, still loose. And Japan come up with it. Yudai Mashida in the game. Mashida, lefty, long three, misses everything. Balls loose, behind the back save, great hustle. By Haji. Chisholm, inside, outside, running jump shots. And uh, Ali Rashet. Japan moving the ball around the outside. Shots up and three is good and they keep pouring them in. Japan 16 of 41 now. Long range three for Bahrain. Balls loose, still loose. And Ali Rashid gets it back for Bahrain. Off the glass, just off, balls loose. Here comes Japan, can they tie the 17 threes? Well, they're going inside first. Yoshida getting in the action, nice assist by Karamura. Under a minute remaining in Japan's FIBA Basket World Cup qualification and they will be hosting the group stages here in Japan and Indonesia, Philippines. Fade away jump shot is just off. Chisholm with another rebound. Chisholm, 14 and 13, balls loose, still fighting for possession, and a hard attack by Ali Kadam. And the second stick down to the end of the qualification campaigns for Bahrain and Japan. And that's the end of the game. Really entertaining. 95-72 in favour of the host here and the co-hosts of the finals themselves. Final score, Japan 95, Bahrain 72. Bahrain kept going. Good effort by them. Tied the third quarter. And 
Japan win the fourth by seven and the second by three. It was that first quarter, 32-19 was what separated the two teams. But again, high quality. 16 threes for Japan, seven, 16 of 41. So four more threes they took than they, the game against Iran. They will finish seven and five will be their record. And here's the stats. 16 of 41, three, seven of 27. Nine of 13 from the line and two pointers to boot. 42 to 40 rebounds, 28 assists. Nearly hit the 30 mark, 28 assists, fantastic. 18 assists, not bad for Bahrain. Hawkinson and Rashid lead the scoring. Then Suda and Chisholm. High scoring Japan. High scoring Japan continue their push towards the FIBA Basketball World Cup Finals. made their threes, but they can also pass it inside as well. So it won't be here in... It's Okinawa will be the arena that will host the group stages, and it was a nice layup, misdirection, and just, again, smart play from Hawkinson just diving to the basket. Group phase, E, Group E and group, group F, Japan will be hosting. And the second round for Group K and classification games as well. So 25th of August to the 2nd of September, Japan will be hosting games for the prestigious FIBA Basketball World Cup. And that's pretty strong play, consistently strong play for Devon Chisholm. And he showed us some sprinkles of magic as well with that behind the back part bounce pass out of the post. And the threes just kept coming. Six different players knocking down threes. And Yutura Suda, six of nine, the pick of the bunch. That's how the group is looking. All games played, Japan finished third, Iran six and six. They go through as the fourth best place team. And all the Asia teams are confirmed. Qualification complete. Lebanon, New Zealand, Australia, China, Jordan, and Iran qualify. Japan, Philippines are the hosts. So Japan complete their FIBA Basketball World Cup qualification campaign here in the Takasaki Arena. It was raining threes all weekend. In the end, they were too much for Bahrain. They win 95-72.